Russian military plane crashes into residential building in Irkutsk, regional governor. Here's a summary of the article. We process your data to deliver content or advertisements and measure the delivery of such content or advertisements to extract insights about our website. Your device can receive and send information that allows you to see and interact with ads and content. Personalized ads and content, ad and content measurement, audience insights and product development. Personalized ads can be shown to you based on a profile about you. A profile can be built about you and your interests to show you personalized content that is relevant to you. Personalized content can be shown to you based on a profile about you. Ads can be shown to you based on the content you're viewing, the app you're using, your approximate location, or your device type. This post received a score of 3,600, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I see the Russian Air Force is continuing its time-honored tradition of falling from the sky. Falling is a Russian tradition. Apparently, failing is also a Russian tradition now. Failing by falling just merges these popular pastimes. Yes, it's a new crash. That was my first thought too. Again, damn they must be really lacking hard if maintenance gets this neglected. From what I have read the oxygen system failed on it making both pilots unconscious. Second plane checked on him and realized both pilots are heads down not responding. Plane rab out of fuel and crashed. That's why we see no shoots. They had no idea what's happening and been gone long before. Pretty fucked up. I wonder if these are the kind of long-term consequences we are seeing to Russia not being able to manufacture or source semiconductors and processes. The computers that control these systems just fail with no replacement. You can't exactly go ah, redneck engineering with this stuff. We know this is why they've been forced to buy Iranian drones. Read on another thread that they estimated Russia could maintain their military planes for about six months after the sanctions were introduced before they start running out of vital parts they can't source or manufacture themselves anymore. Well it's been about eight months since the war began now and sure enough Russian planes have started falling out of the sky. If their military aviation is struggling to find replacement parts, probably not a good idea to fly Russian domestic anytime soon. How much worse can the Russian army possibly get? What's next? Two Russian planes crash into each other and set a hospital on fire. Preferably directly over the Kremlin. Putin's bunker, while loaded with busters and anti-long table armaments. Finally, Putin will be able to ask, what air defense doing? As Russian aircraft crash into his Black Sea Palace. Again, one is an event, two is a coincidence, three will be a pattern. That's what you get when you grab a chef off the street and tell him he's now a fighter pilot. He had the first course about takeoff, but not the second one about landing. Takeoff is the first lesson, landing is the second lesson, and he clearly skipped the third lesson which is to land the plane so it can be used again. Video. Wow. That was a lot more flying straight at the ground at high speed than I thought it would be. Could easily be pilot was doing maneuvers and lost situational awareness broken equipment, general stupidity, or a whole range of reasons. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.